Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Ominous and today uh, I will do the top 10 ABBA songs. Uh, I'm a fan of ABBA. Um, yeah, I pretty much like the whole discography in a way. Um, although, you know, I, I used to like watch them crazy, you know, crazy times. I, you know, that level has kind of died down to me since ABBA. They are good. But they're more of a singles band, honestly. You know, I didn't want to say it, but they they kind of are. So you know, I cannot deny that. But they're a great spot back there. You know, they are one of the best. So there we go. I cannot deny that. So uh, my favorites are SOS, the winner takes it all, of course. Um, <laughs> Dancing Queen, obviously. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give you know, the hit, the hits, the hits, I suppose. Yeah, pretty much. Can't really think of anything else. Well, there are way more ABBA hits out there, but those are the ones that, uh, that I come up with now. Can I think of anything else? Not really. So let's get into it. Enjoy. Like I've watched this video like a shitload of times uh, already, so I know it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Things are contagious in a good way. Like the beat, the sound, and the infectious joy of these Swedes at their best. Yeah. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're yeah. counting down our picks for the top 10 uh, Apple songs. Uh, for this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Number 10, Super Trooper. It's a good song. Yeah, there we go. I don't mind this song though. Uh, how she called it? Agnita Feldskog? Like she has it going on though, uh, Frida, Bjorn, Benny, all of them. It's a good song though, but it's a bit of tame for me. Uh, literally my favorite song, can't tangle with. Like SOS, the kind of like haunting, you know, the, the ghost, ghostly kind of tone that this song has, I love it. SOS reached the top 15 in the US and the We're starting out with a show with uh Akinita, I can say her fucking name. Like she fit as fuck. The song now. starts out with a feeling of melancholy and tension, both in the music and e even now she kinda of looks still good, I think. But as soon as the chorus hits, Bouncing music overwhelms, any doubts that this singer won't really be able to carry on are quickly dispelled. It's pretty much my favorite song right there. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. It's also one of my favorites. I just love the beat on this, or the, the organ, I suppose. What even is it? Yeah, yeah, the keyboards. I love the keyboards. Pop wonders, guitar virtuosos, electronica bands, and even goth metal musicians, and sampled by Madonna herself. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man after midnight was. I hate it at the say that. Madonna herself, like, oh, she is like the epitome or something. Like, fuck that bitch. Like, Abba destroys her, honestly. More blatantly carnal than many other Abba songs. It sizzles with energy and it's an awesome oh, Of course she samples it because her career is dried up like something else, you know what I mean? Disco can't help but get moving when this one comes on. Her. Oh, let's not go back to that. Uh, Waterloo. Number seven, Waterloo. Mama. Mama. Mia. Oh yeah. It's a catchy tune. It's catchy. Like whenever they're saying, 
you know, I, I think of that cat as saying, no, no, you know, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Like, I have to pause the video for a bit, I have to look this up. Uh, cat, no, 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 it's so funny. Like, that bit in South Park, I believe. Uh, did it debut on South Park? I don't even know anymore. My internet is god awful, of course. Fucking hell. Like, maybe? No? Please? Come on, I, I, I want to show fucking you. Come on now. Uh, well, might as well try with. Uh, oh, my, my Wi Fi is so shit. Like, maybe. Talking funny cats, no, no, no. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, please. There we go. Basically, this cat. I'm showing it to my computer. Challenge him or something? I don't know. That was funny. All said and done, six million singles were sold. No, no. <laughs> was launched to start it. That's a. Uh, this song reminds me of that. There we go. Still love the song, but there we go. The winner takes it all. I believe. Yeah, there we go. This should be way higher though. Like top three. Six. The winner takes it all. I don't wanna talk. This is pretty much the best song, together with Ashley Dancing Queen. I guess. Uh, those three. That's the top three right there for me. Written at the same time as the divorce of ABBA members Bjorn Oveas and Agnetha Feldskog, the song's heartfelt lyrics seem to be a highly personal statement. Great vocal delivery. It's also a major highlight of Mamma Mia. The stage I even don't mind Mamma Mia that much though, the, the movie. I love the song, but, you know, coming up. There's a good vocal delivery there. Yeah, it went on and didn't didn't surpass or didn't die down or something. Fernando is often well, considered Abba's biggest seller. We move on. Racking up worldwide sales of more than 10 million copies. I, I believe this was uh, Agnita's favorite song. Like Frida's favorite song is um, is Dancing Queen. Uh, Fr Frida's vocals on this song are great, I think. They're, they're really good. Arrangement with its airy flutes and softly strummed guitars creates an oddly peaceful setting. And how many pop songs are about people feeling nostalgic for their days as revolutionaries? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Not many though, not many. Uh, know me, knowing you. Knowing me, knowing you. This song has style, man. It's hard to do, as another songwriter once said, but it's handled in a pretty adult manner in knowing me, knowing you. As a matter of fact, lyrics and forceful and determined arrangement paint a queer picture. This heart may be broken, but it's better off that way. Knowing me, knowing you. There is nothing we can do. Like, you just sing along with the songs, man. The message resonated worldwide, hitting the top three in at least ten countries. Knowing me, knowing you is the best I can do. Uh, Mamma Mia. Number three, Mamma Mia. Although not 
one major hit on the US <laughs> charts. Oh, that was kind of crazy. Like I'm laughing because I'm looking on uh, best ranked all or uh, yeah top ranked all best ever albums, which is uh, a side to rank stuff and shit like that. It's kind of like a rate your music kind of thing. Um, and they rated Adele a 69. <laughs> That's funny. You know it's funny with the numbers too, since all of her albums are ta you know titled after her age, so it makes it even funnier. I actually really like the bass, it's really like fuzzy. Like you don't really hear it now, you know, if you just listen to it so. But with headphones, man, like yeah, that's so fuzzy. Like you're 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 cuddling a fur furry or something. Oh god. Uh, take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. They should include that last all, no, the visitor. That's a great all. The song's distinctive title rhythm, derived from a repetitive phrase Jorn Alves chanted while running every day. When combined with a crystal clear Euro pop production and those trademark ABBA harmonies, it's an enticing, alluring sound that you want to hear over and over. I love this song. Uh, money, money, money. Okay, here are a few honorable mentions. It's like I almost have watched it list already. Well, I, I, I believe I said that. Chikatida voulez vous? I believe you say it like that. Is that French? Voulez? I don't know. Call me a retard, I don't know. Lay, lay all your love on me from Super Trooper, which is actually one of my favorite songs. It's a great song. Like, that's kind of like spooky, like spacey melody right there. That's great. Well, that's from Voulez-vous, you heard it. Frida is a clear speaker. Like, uh, you know, Agnita is just standing in the back like, yeah, Ebba. <laughs> oh, dancing queen. Dancing queen. Of course. Dancing queen was a massive mega hit and chart topper in more than a dozen countries. It's also the only Abba hit to reach number one on the US pop charts. <laughs> When they're doing this, <laughs> it's like it's like kind of a pet deal of mine, uh, you know, small deal. Oh shit! I don't know. Well, the video's over anyway, so it doesn't matter. Not really, but I see what you're doing. Completely off. Yeah, uh, about classic. This is a pretty short video, but I didn't really have a lot to say, honestly. Voulez vous not even an honorable mention. I'm not a big fan of that song, but you know, so what. Ch Chikatita should should be in this. Top 10 list, you know, so what. Am I the only one who thinks the honorable mentions sh list should have gone on for 20 more minutes with a lot more additions? Yeah, me, me, me too. I want to say me neither, but what? Thank you for the music, Abba. Chosen your favorite Abba song is like Chu uh, or Chosen. Yeah, she is spelling it like that, or he, Flower Princess. 
uh, choosing your favorite ABBA uh, song is like choosing between your children. Simply impossible. Is it also simply impossible for you to spell correctly, maybe? Cho is someone gonna correct them? S like choosing. I'm pr pretty sure it's with two. Uh, how do you say that? Uh, O's? I don't even know. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I would choose my favorite Ebba song. Like, no one is going to correct him. Name of the game. Yeah, no one is going to correct him. Dumbasses. <laughs> like, probably no one even knows it's like a mistake. <clears throat> Let me take a wild guess. Dancing Queen is number one. No shit. Watch the end of the video to find out, or just assume that. Take a chance on me is my favorite. Oh, well, there you go. Best band ever. Mm, not per se, but they are good. The Bee Gees were the best band ever. No. Abba was second. No. <laughs> Uh, Arrival, the song gives me chills. Benny is a musical genius. Uh, holy shit, it's a talking muffin. <laughs> your name is better than your comments, mate. <laughs> the first time I knew Abba in my childhood, Super Trooper. What? Reason why I love Abba, awesome music, hearing English people say their names. <laughs> exactly, Anthony Pancake. I believe that is like a big fan of Anthony Fantano, I don't know. Old is best music. Yes, the people from the 20th century know that the right music is ABBA. Or uh, what the right music is, ABBA is life. <laughs> what even was that? I am 11 years old and I love ABBA. I oh, gotta love these comments. I am so many years old and I love old music. Like, yeah, fuck off, kid. <laughs> The king has lost his crown. Uh, I've, I've listened to every ABBA song, so I know that song, but I forgot it. The US is not in the center of the galaxy. Is, is, that, an, is that an ABBA lyric? Like what? I don't know. I don't know what the comment is. Those good looking Swedish people. There you go. That name pronunciation though. <laughs> Frida's harmonizer. Lol. I wish Lay, Lay All Your Love On Me had been in the top 10, but at least it got a mention. Yeah, but it is never good with these fucking comments like, Oh, it needs to be mentioned, then it is mentioned. Oh, it needs to be in the top 10, then it is number 10. Oh, it needs to be higher. Like, fuck off, mate. <laughs> like, not everyone is like that, but the majority of people are. Like, you want your favorite song to succeed, but still. Is this your own favorite or Abba's most listened song? Songs. It's just, you know, they're just pandering to the most generic, to to the most popular and most accessible taste there is. So that that's what motive for it. But those are usually new comments that you know don't really know about what Mojo, but you know I know, so of course I'm gonna say it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, let me know what are your favorite Abba songs, favorite albums. Uh, I used to really love that. Well, I still love Abba, you know, don't get me wrong. They're still one of the best pop bands out there, but. You know, I do prefer other pop acts, but they're still great, you know. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Of course, like, comment, subscribe if you didn't say it already, and peace.